I was trying to get in the Zen mode of meditation, which I know for sure I'm not going to achieve. I have something else in my capacity, which is Zen, and I'm going to show you guys right after this intro video. <laughs> Wow and welcome back to another brand new episode of Weekend on Wheels and today I'm going to talk another never out of fashion vehicle and which this time is a Maruti Zen. I could not achieve my Zen mode in meditation but then in my capacity I've got one of the very limited collection of a Zen which is a 2003 model and I'm going to show you that beauty straight away which is a Zen carbon which was only 300 of them which was made zen carbon 300 and the zen steel 300 total 600 in number in the country and to tell you more i'm going to talk about the car this is a 1000 cc engine which produces 60 horsepower at 6000 rpm so the first model of zen was introduced in 1993 and uh, the first version was 50 horsepower at 6000 rpm and in 2007 they came up with a newer model when i say newer model it was just a facelift and nothing to do with uh, the car as such and in 1999 they came up with the second generation called the classic which was more to do with the headlight change a classic headlight and also the tail lamp which didn't do really good so they had to discontinue that in 1999 and in 2003 they came with the third generation of the Maruti Zen which was named carbon a black color car which was increased in terms of power as well and also in the way it looked and this came with only three doors so you had the driver door the pillion door and the uh, back boot door so that's what that was it the earlier all versions were five door and this speciality of this is the three door car and the best part of Zen was in those days this was the only car which allowed you to work around with the engine with the machine come out with the kind of customization that you really wanted to do and this man who owns this car has done nothing less he's done a lot of thing which his characteristics is reflected on the car right from the interiors of the car the paint this is not the stock paint it's changed the paint of the car and the overall look of the car even when it comes to the mag wheels the way the car looks the way tire looks it's it's a total personality i'm going to talk to the owner as well to find out a little bit of price position how does he maintain and all of those things and i'm sure you guys want to know about those as well and how easy is this car to maintain or how difficult how deep in pocket does it damage to maintain such cars and a lot of the those things I'm going to show you the interior of the car coming guys I'm going to show you how this machine sounds and then it's not the stock um, exhaust there's some amount of alteration done in the exhaust and let's hear this right away can you fire this up please
Can you hear that sweet sound guys? That's how this machine sounds. And now I'm going to talk to the owner of this car to understand a little more about this car. I have the owner of this car which is Sunil. He owns this uh, beautiful machine and one of his prized possessions. So I'm going to talk to Sunil and understand a little more about this car. Uh, so Sunil, how long you possess this car? It's been two years now. And uh, how easy is to maintain such cars? Uh, when it comes to the engine, it's very easy, but uh, when it comes to the body line, it's a little difficult because of the two-door. Okay. So, if you lose any part or something goes wrong, so it's very difficult to find it. Okay. If not, it's just the normal Zen. Okay. And uh, I understand you've done a lot of nice little tweaky things inside and customized the entire interior as per your choice. So tell me a little more about your interiors. So it is the carbon, so the color is because it's a carbon. Mm. So the black was not that great for me. So I like the color of a Jensen Interceptor and Fast and Furious 6. Okay. So that's the reason I have this gunmetal gray. And uh, the interior for the red interior, it was a choice by a friend. So that's the reason I have it. I, I must say it looks beautiful with the brown color seats and also with a mix of red color interior this looks smashing and that's why i keep saying there are certain things which never go out of fashion and this is for me 10 out of 10 when it comes to being in fashion three door car thousand cc engine 60 horsepower and endless customization is what you can go with this car and that's what i understand and i've seen it um so when it comes to space how do you go about with space? Is it easy to source out space? Yes, it is easy to source the space. For example, it's completely the same engine which is in a Zen. So, and it's Maruti M. So it is easy to find, but only the body line has a good okay. The two doors, that is going to be very good. Okay. And uh, do you still service this back in a, a Maruti showroom or you give it to a third party like a 3M or a Bosch or a known friend? Yeah, How do you service it? It is uh, given to a known friend who gets it done. But you can still give it to the showroom. Okay. Uh, they still service the Zen uh, 2003 model. Mm -hmm. But I prefer giving it to a known person. So the personal touch is there. Okay. Uh, do you guys have a group like the way bikers have a group and all of it? And uh, maybe uh, Mahindra Tar has a group. They discuss in the group. You know what customization can be done or let's go for a drive guys i don't have this particular car, uh, car part can somebody source me out do you have something like that do you have a group yes there is a group uh, mm. for zen mm. but when it comes to a carbon it's a very small family because it's only 600 cars uh, across the country just to give you guys a perspective this was i told in the beginning also this is a very small community only 600 cars sold in the entire country out of which 300 were carbon and 300 were steel so, rightly mentioned, it's a very, very small family. So, yeah, please go ahead. So, it's a very small community. So, there is a small group where we uh, get together to uh, discuss few things about getting uh, the side panels for the car, the, the rear window, which is very difficult to source right now. And uh, when it comes to other things, uh, there is another group called Zen. Yes. So that is the zero engine noise. Yes. So that group is huge. So they have a huge community and I'm not a part of it. But yes, I am with them. Okay. So a lot of people who did not know what was Zen, it's zero engine noise. That's what Zen stood for. And this beauty stands out with that uh, phrase, zero engine noise. So we are going to drive this car as well and just understand how the car feels. I'm going to drive along with Sunil and um, you know just tell how it feels even today and a little more on that guys. So we're going for a small spin and uh, just to see how the vehicle uh, still performs. I've been told it performs good but I'm... Uh, I'm going to convince Sunil to give me the car so that I can drive. I'm not sure if he's going to give his uh, kid or the baby what you can call. But then this car sounds and feels and drives excellent. Uh, so Sunil, I want to drive your car. Is it okay if I can drive it? Uh, I generally don't give it out. Uh, okay. I don't let anybody else uh, feel this baby. Okay. But as an exception, uh, 
since you're doing this. Yes, you get to ride it today. I'm lucky, guys. I'm lucky. So I'm gonna drive this and see. Oh, this sounds so sweet, guys. It sounds so sweet, and we've already knocked 100 kilometers per hour. Awesome! This is crazy. This is what I was saying, guys. Only, only if you can maintain such cars, go for it. Only those guys are meant to own such cars. Um, if you're a guy who did not really appreciate or can uh, maintain such car, please, please don't ever think of buying or you know owning such cars. It's it's not worth it for you for someone like that. So I'm gonna take over. Oh, feels so nostalgic. 96 or 95, I believe. Um, my uh, family used to own one of this. Uh, that was a regular then. And so, to tell you guys, I drive a Micra myself, which is another 1.2 liter engine. Um, this is a thousand liter engine, but then this feels. Oh, and these. Can you guys listen to that sweet exhaust sound which is just coming every time you're just throttling in right amount of gas and the right amount of throttling oh this is so cool this drives as as good as a new car and uh, yeah it's a five uh, speed gearbox oh it, it's it's fantastic guys it's really nice i love this Forget me talking guys, just enjoy the drive. I'm just gonna drive now, I'm not gonna talk anymore because I'm just loving this car. And the braking is impressive as well, in spite of the uh, car being um, good, old enough, I, I would rather not call it old. Um, but then, I must say, for this car, the braking is still amazing. It still works beautiful. And that's about it. So my drive has come to an end. And uh, so is this video. I really thank um, Sunil for giving me an opportunity to drive this car and also to shoot this car. Um, if you guys haven't um, seen my previous versions of Never Out of Fashion, I'm going to put a card on the top. You can go check out uh, those videos. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon to make sure you get a video every time. To make sure you get a notification of my new video every time I upload it. And until the next time, peace out guys. Do not drink and drive or ride. Drive safe and drive safe. See you guys. Bye bye. That's it for now.